Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to show you how to install drivers for AMD, Nvidia and Intel graphics, how to reinstall the driver and proceed with the installation without additional components, and what actions you should take before installation to make this process more successful. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Talking of graphics drivers, there are basically two categories of users or two types – those who use the drivers integrated into the operating system and those who install the drivers from official manufacturer websites. For any modern Windows operating system, installing the graphics driver is not required, as the system already contains it or downloads it while updating. But if you are a fan of latest games, you will need to install a new driver, as the software for relevant video card models is updated very often, sometimes even every month, and the newest driver can boost your graphics adapter really a lot. Before you start the installation of a graphics driver, you should know the model and manufacturer of your adapter. To do it, right-click on the desktop and select Display settings. Then open Advanced Display Settings and you will see the information you are looking for. Sometimes you may have to reinstall the driver it if, for example, you encounter some problems after the installation that you never had before it. For removing a driver, the standard utility works fine in most of the cases, but sometimes the driver cannot be uninstalled or the process can be interrupted by a failure which you can't eliminate. In that case, here is a third-party app to help you – Display Driver Uninstaller, and you will find the link in the description. This utility will find and remove all drivers installed for your video card, regardless of its manufacturer. Just install the program on your computer and start it. The developer recommends using it in the safe mode, but in the course of testing it completed driver removal in the normal mode as well. If you can't uninstall a driver in the normal mode, then try doing it in safe mode. You can watch one of our videos to see how to boot a computer in safe mode. You can find the link in the description. Then select your device, as you can see this utility can help you uninstall not only the graphics driver, but also the sound driver. There are three modes to choose from – Clean and Restart, which is highly recommended. Clean and Do not restart, which may cause issues with the display like black screen. If you are about to replace the old graphics card with a new one, choose Clean and Shutdown. There is also an extra function – Set Windows Automatic Driver Installation to default. In the Options window, you can also enable removing 3D TV, physics and other components, as well as NVIDIA and AMD driver folders. In the same menu, you can enable the option Enable Safe Mode dialog, and when you start the system for the next time, you will be suggested to choose between Normal or Safe Mode. If you choose Safe Mode and click on Reboot to Safe Mode, the system will restart at once and then boot to Safe Mode. Yet, before you remove a driver, we strongly recommend that you download it from the manufacturer's official website. I leave the links to official websites of NVIDIA, AMD and Intel below this video. As I said at the beginning of this video, before installation you should know the card's model as well as the version and bitness of your operating system. Based on this information, you can select the right driver and download it. When the download is over, you can safely remove the old driver. To do it, open the driver removal utility and select the proper mode. I choose the Clean and, and Do Not Restart option to show you the entire process, but I strongly recommend that you choose the first option. The removal process will begin and when it is complete you will see the message saying Clean Uninstall completed. 
Now you can begin the driver installation. Run the downloaded file, the installer will ask you where to unpack the installation data. Agree to the directory it suggests and remember the path. After the installation, you can delete these temporary files without any harm to your computer and it will save you almost a gigabyte of free space. Unpacking takes some more time and then the installation wizard appears. It will check the system for compatibility and if you downloaded the wrong driver by mistake, the installation will be cancelled. If everything is alright, the installation process begins, offering you two options to choose from – quick and custom. If you want the driver installed with all the additional components, choose quick. And if you don't need the extra stuff, choose custom. If you don't need the extra components included into the driver package, you should choose custom installation at the first stage of the process and uncheck the unnecessary elements. After the installation, restart the computer. The process of installing software for various video card models by NVIDIA, Radeon and Intel is quite similar, so don't think too much about this particular model you see in this video. This method is good for both older and newer adapters. If you are not sure which components to choose, then go for the default option and let the installation wizard do the job. To finish with. I'd like to say that it's better to update graphics drivers as often as possible if you are using one of the latest models. In all other cases, the drivers integrated into the operating system will suffice. Download the drivers from official websites only. Before downloading the drivers, make sure you know the card model and the version of your operating system. As to the downloading and installing the drivers, as you can see, it's very simple. And that is all for now. Leave a comment to let us know if this video was helpful for you and what difficulties you encountered in the process. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!